So with Cardano's smart contracts on the horizon, the price of Cardano has been going absolutely crazy. So we're going to take a quick look at the chart. Also, I want to talk to you about a project that will be bridging over onto the Cardano and Polygon network, which could be big. Okay, guys. So we're going to take a look at that project and how you can maximize your profit potential in a low cap gem. Stay tuned for the rest of this video. It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video and we're going to take a quick look at the Cardano chart before we talk about another token which I think has huge potential especially when it launches on the Cardano network. It is currently available on Uniswap already so we're going to take a look at that token shortly after this very short analysis of Cardano. So Cardano is clearly in this rising broadening wedge and right now it is the weekend and it has been going nuts but one thing I think you should be aware of is that futures gaps are, <laughs> you know, there's going to be a futures gap. Okay, guys. So that's something to take note of. But Cardano has been going absolutely nuts. Okay. It's actually at 87% uh, or a little bit more than that from the bottom of this wedge. Currently sitting at $2.16. We can hear a peak around $2.24 before finding this resistance. And we know this is a clear level of resistance because of all of this action over here. Okay, we've got resistance, resistance, resistance. Okay, it broke through very shortly and came straight back down. Okay, resistance, resistance. Okay, and then right now we get resistance. Okay, we are on the one daily. Okay, guys, and I think there will be a pullback. Now, uh, Cardano is super bullish, tremendously bullish okay guys so a pullback could see it come down just to test this level of support again at about a dollar 86 before getting another bounce and if it does break out of this rising broadening wedge then that's going to be super bullish for cardano and of course it could coincide with the time of the uh, uh, uh we're reaching an all-time high in my opinion okay guys so if we get a double breakout over there that's going to be absolutely massive for cardano cardano is super bullish all right, guys, it's super bullish with the smart contracts, the Alonzo hard fork. Going head to head with Ethereum right now with the EIP 1559. Perfect timing for an announcement from the founder, Charles Hoskinson, who's a co founder of Ethereum as well. So, um, yeah, I think that, you know, this is the one to watch uh, this bull run. You have to follow the money, okay, uh, follow the trend. Um, Cardano has the most eyes on it right now, in my opinion. Um, it could be the leader of this bull run um and it is actually hitting the number three spot at the moment so massive gains a massive potential for cardano a lot of news coming out on it so uh watch this space okay guys the other token i wanted to talk to you about is spores network okay the website being spores s-p-o-r-e-s dot app this is a uniswap gem and is very low in market cap so spores network is a cross-chain DeFi powered NFT marketplace defining decentralized pop culture. Okay, community frictionless, borderless creator centricity. It's got the contracts uh, and, and stuff here for the SPO token. We're going to have a look at the chart and why I think that's bullish, which is actually moving at the moment. So we, we will have a further look at that. Um, we know that the market cap is very low. Okay, but uh, it's not confirmed. Okay, the, the coin market cap team have not verified the project's market cap. We know that it is between four and five million. Okay, but whichever way you look at it, it's a very low market cap gem, which has huge potential, especially seeing the market conditions that we're in right now. Okay, when it gets on Cardano, it's going to be super bullish. This is also bridging with uh, Matic and the Binance Smart Chain as well. So it's going to be a cross chain. DeFi compatible NFT platform, which, you know, is super bullish. Now, this project's actually launched on Cardstyle as an IDO. Um, so that's, you know, for those that are interested in Cardstyle, they probably would have heard of this already. Okay, guys, we're not going to talk about Cardstyle, but that's another bullish project, which is uh, kind of launching IDOs in preparation for the Cardano network. Okay, hence the name Cardstar, Cardano. Uh, but this was an audio on Cardstar, which done absolutely well. Uh, I do believe that the people that bought it uh, through audio um, have a vesting schedule. Um, so uh, the, the, the pre-sailors or the audio investors will not be able to dump tokens on you. Okay, guys, and like I said, we will look at the chart and see how that's looking. But it's a marketplace for digital art, esports, animation, gaming, 
film tv and film and tv and music okay guys so they're literally doing a little bit of everything i believe there's going to be celebrities getting on board with this as well and this is very low market cap hasn't done much at all uh, i think this has a very bright future and you're you're buying this very early bearing that in mind okay guys um so nft DeFi, um fungible tokenization and nft pool making uh utilizing DeFi lending and farming facilities of course um the 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 total supply and the circulating supply are not fully available in fact no the total supply the max supply is available at 5 billion the circulating supply is not available but we know that there's going to be no mint function okay so the max supply is 5 billion the total supply is 5 billion so there's obviously going to be some tokens set aside out of that circulating supply that's going to be kept or locked up for potentially a staking functionality which i can't see it mentioned anywhere unless i haven't checked properly but we will go through and have a look but it being a DeFi platform with uh, uh, lending and farming, I would assume so because, you know, unless they're going to allow you to farm other tokens, okay, I'm going to assume that you're going to be able to farm some more uh, sports token, which the ticker is SPO. Okay, multi-chain operability, easy minting and managing NFTs on multiple chains, buying selling and swapping items across many blockchains and we don't know if uh, you minting nfts is going to be able to, to is going to enable you to get more tokens as well so that will be interesting to find out crypto and fiat payments cross-chain payment with multiple types of cryptocurrencies on ramp and off ramp solutions for many fiat currencies okay so um we know that it's fungible tokens um nfts so the standards are erc20 and bep20 which are probably available now i bought this on uniswap so erc20 and you've got the erc721 and 1155 standards for the nfts solidity compatible so it's not going to be you know too hard to uh to use this protocol if you know what you're doing when it comes to coding and stuff like that and uh, multiple underlying blockchains bsc ethereum cardano solana polkadot polygon wax and cosmos okay so i only mentioned binance smart chain ethereum and uh, cardano but they've actually got solana polkadot i mentioned polygon wax and cosmos so this is going to be a cross-chain DeFi nft platform with multiple use cases, digital art, esports, animation, gaming, film, TV, music. This this token is super bullish, guys. It's already got a decent community behind it as well, and it's got some very good uh, uh, partnerships. In fact, let's just scroll down to there because I don't want to drag this video on for too long. We may do a follow up video for this as well. Okay, so if we look at partners, you can see NGC Ventures, uh, Token Suite um a bullish unicorn x network capital i'm not going to pretend like i know who these are but it looks really good <laughs> featuring that on the website i think i might have heard of this in ngc ventures but maybe not a lot of them have similar names okay and uh we have the roadmap here so they expect to have the the cardano bridge by quarter four if i remember correctly okay sorry like quarter four integrating the cardano ecosystem okay so right now we are in uh, august so september uh, october so by next month hopefully next month or the month af after uh, or maybe you know sometime within the fourth quarter let's just say that we know they're going to be integrating with the cardano ecosystem okay and of course they are planning ahead because they don't know they didn't know exactly when uh the, you know smart contracts are going to be available for cardano um we know that's coming sooner rather than later at the moment so um by the fourth quarter hopefully um you know a lot more eyes will be on this from the cardano community as well if they aren't already um connecting wax gaming ecosystems as well and guys you can do your own research okay guys i'm going to leave the information for the website and all that so you can have a a, a proper look through this okay guys because i don't have time to go through the whole thing at the moment i'm actually getting ready to go out for dinner with my wife because it's my birthday today so i am trying to hurry it up okay guys um but let's just continue as quick as we can so um i'm not going to go through the team but you can see they are a docs team okay this is not your average meme coin or anything like that this is uh not just some nft meme platform or anything like that this is this is a very mature um uh, a very mature project for 
art lovers and so on okay they've been featured in in you know yahoo finance um coin codex reddit and so on okay guys so i think this is extremely bullish um you already know how i feel about this so quickly let's just have a look at the chart um so i can get ready and go out okay guys so you can see that uh, uh, this came out the gate and it went up okay um like i said the ideal buyers are not gonna be able to or, or haven't at least uh created a huge dump out of this as well so it's been a very decent fair launch as well um you know obviously to be able to get into it you would have had to have hold card uh the card token for card starter uh, to get your hands on it in the ideal but now it is a free for all okay because it's on uniswap this is the only platform it's on at the moment is uniswap so just think if you're getting in now the scope for it when it begins to list on other platforms you're going to be one of the early investors you are still classed as an early investor in this project getting in now okay guys so you can see it's been doing this kind of sideways accumulation this is the one hour chart as well by the way so you know i like to i do like to zoom out okay because it it, it it looks a lot better to me and it gives me a, a wider vision for the future where this can go okay guys so as you can see it is starting to move it's broken and out of this level of resistance okay so it's the first level of resistance we know that support is down here but I think we've clearly broken out of this channel now and we are beginning to move to the upside. It resisted or it came up, came back down, resisted, resisted, resisted and boom, we get a massive little push to the upside. Okay, guys, now let's just measure that for you so it doesn't scare you too much because I am zoomed out. This is only a 50% move from here. Okay, so it's nothing to be worried about. All right, guys, I think we're going to get a push to the upside for this token. It's currently sitting only at seven and a half cents. I got in a little bit lower than that. Okay, guys, and I think that this will easily double, easily double, probably easily triple. Remember, it's only four to five million in market cap. That's nothing, guys. That's that's a drop in the ocean for crypto. Okay, guys, for NFTs even, we know that art or digital art is a multi-billion dollar platform okay so for me there's huge potential if you're looking for a low cap gem look no further because spores network is a low cap gem guys and i wouldn't be surprised if it gets trending on here soon because this chart setup for me is beautiful it hasn't done much okay so we're going to be looking for the first major wave out of this token which could be coming very soon if you consider this chart setup right here all right guys so with that being said i really need to get on i'm going to leave you with all the links in the description let me know what you think in the comments about this token whether you're in it already whether you plan to invest whether you're bullish on this okay guys let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys in the very next video